welcome to The Scoop on Mason County Press. I'm your host today, Alan Neuschwander. The Scoop is brought to you by West Shore Bank and Benton Baker Ford. Here with a group of folks at the Scottville Library talking about connecting Mason County. So we'll start off with everybody can just introduce yourselves real quick and who you are and what your role is with the group. Sure. Hi, my name is Monica Schuyler. I'm with the Pennies from Heaven Foundation and I'm just one of the eager volunteers. I'm Eric Smith with the Mason County District Library. And I'm Patty Skinner, also from the Mason County District Library. And I'm Jeremy Bronco with Spectrum Health Ludington Hospital. All right. Thank you guys. And the four of you are really spearheading this Connecting Mason County group that is looking at expanding broadband internet access in Mason County. Um, Congress, I believe, allocated over $300 million to the state of Michigan for the next 10 years to look at broadband internet access. and. I think, you know, especially when we look back at March of 2020, we realized how important high-speed internet access really is in rural communities like ours. So could you just start off maybe talking about how your group formed and really what it is that you're trying to accomplish? Okay. Whoever wants to take it. <laughs> I'll take the easy one. I'll save the hard ones for you all later. <laughs> so that's exactly right. That's exactly why we formed is, is as COVID uh, was hitting our communities, we realized more and more how much the lack of access was a barrier, and sometimes it's that there's no provider, sometimes that it's not affordable or the quality's not good. Um, and then when we were looking at some of the grants and opportunities, uh, according to the FCC right now, their maps say that we are, we are served, and so we're not really as competitive or eligible for a lot of those resources. Um, so we're really looking to see what can we do about that. So the survey really is to help us combat those maps and show the need that we actually have and, and to start the process of looking for some solutions. Okay. And Jeremy, I'll ask you, I guess, from a healthcare standpoint, coming from Spectrum Health, and when you look at you know, physical health and mental health with COVID right now, a lot of appointments are being offered virtually through telehealth. Explain the importance of high-speed internet access as it relates to healthcare. Yeah, so, you know, as we look to, to, to deliver more services to our community, broadband internet is just really essential to be able to do that. We can offer services right out of our hospital locally here, but we can also extend services based out of our other geographies in Grand Rapids and other locations. And so, you know, we could save people trips from having to drive to Grand Rapids, and we can keep it safe, especially in, the, in light of the public health crisis, and, and allow you to still get the care that you need right home, right safe, today even. And can you talk about the importance also of high-speed internet access as it relates to people who are now working remotely and also for folks that have children at home who have had to do schooling online as well? Yeah, in the past uh, much of the di discussion about broadband has been on the download speeds and so what has happened, those have, those have been a part of, you know, when you're watching Netflix and when you're watching shows or you're listening to music, the download speeds have been really important. Once kids started staying home and doing online school and people started doing telework, telemedicine, we noticed that there's a big shift with upload speeds becoming really vital for the, for the people to be able to do those two-way connections. So this is actually something where the, current iterations of this kind of discussion in this group haven't addressed the upload speeds in the same way. It really took COVID for us to have to see those and address them. And when we look at broadband access in Mason County in general, there's certain parts of the county that are struggling more than others. So, so we know that um, rural communities, unfortunately, are just hit hardest with this. Um, there's just less people per square mile to make it uh, cost effective for a provider to provide service. And so that's really where we see a majority of the challenge. And can you talk about, there's a survey going on right now uh, for individuals and businesses to complete online to uh, kind of gauge broadband access in the county and what the needs are of our local residents. Uh, can you talk about the survey a little bit and how people can complete that survey? Yeah, so we have a Facebook page, it's called Connecting Mason County. And we have quite a few different community uh, members that are really participating in it. But I, essentially what we're trying to do is, is get uh, you know, factual data on where are we at from uh, broadband access, quality, you know, what would people be interested in if we were to be able to extend new broadband services to the community. And with that data, then we can help input that and figure out 
you know, what kind of broadband providers could extend access to this area. And so this survey is, is really this critical piece right now that we are really looking for all residents of Mason County to, to participate in and, and jump in there and help us because the more factual data we get on that, the better and more complete solutions we could, we could provide. And the survey itself, it's quick and easy, right? Very easy. Uh, like I said, uh, we have a link on Facebook. We have a QR code. Uh, we also have some paper handouts that we're providing at the public libraries. And we're also looking at extending those paper handouts to other locations uh, in the near future here. Okay, and the paper handouts would be for those folks that currently maybe don't have access yep. to broadband. They can stop by one of the local libraries and just fill out a paper form? Exactly. Okay. Yep. And is, is there still an incentive for people to complete the survey with gift cards? Yes. <laughs> yes, we started <laughs> We started that process in drawing winners, so um, we were blessed with some gift cards that were left over from some of the census work that we had a uh, grant for. So we're utilizing those. It's a, a um, you just if you are comfortable and want to be entered for the raffle, you can just enter your email and phone number so that I can get a, a hold of you if you win, um, and you can reserve your gift card to pick up at one of the libraries. Yeah, it's really hard to imagine that there's over a million homes in. In Michigan, that you know don't have access to high-speed internet. I think for those of us that do have access and have for many years, we take it for granted that you know it's right there in the comfort of our own homes and on our on our, on our smartphones and things like that. So um, I, think I would I would just say, Alan, and even to Eric's point, you know, many of us do have access, but many of us don't realize that the access that we have. Uh, maybe once the pandemic hit in March, we all started to realize like if I have four or five or six people. trying to do it's really inadequate to meet the needs of, of what we have and then as we start looking to the future how are we going to build that out and how are we going to make sure that our communities are ready for that as we continue to, to have you know larger and, and bigger data needs so. well, is there anything else that you want to add about uh, the initiative for connecting mason county uh just i always like to encourage people even if you have internet access and you're satisfied please consider taking the time to help some of your friends and neighbors who might not have the access. Um, and again, the more responses we have, the, the better data we have. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us today here on The Scoop. And again, uh, go on Facebook, search for Connecting Mason County and fill out the survey or stop by one of the local libraries and fill out a paper survey for the Connecting Mason County High Speed Broadband Internet Access Survey. So. Again, for Mason County Press's The Scoop, I'm Alan Neuschwander. The Scoop today brought to you, as always, by West Shore Bank and Beckenbaker Ford.